Eastbrook, a town as ordinary as any other, tucked away between rolling hills, surrounded by dark forests that seem to hold secrets of their own. The kind of place where everyone knows everyone, where the air is thick with silence, and time crawls by unnoticed. But for all its quaint charm, there's something unsettling about the stillness here. For Sophie Winters, Eastbrook seemed like the perfect escape from the city. A fresh start, but the town's quiet nature began to feel like a cage. Its stillness suffocating, its secrets weighing heavy in the air. And Sophie, being new, couldn't help but feel like an outsider a stranger in a town that didn't seem to want her there. It was one of those lonely afternoons. When Sophie found herself wandering the quiet streets of Eastbrook, and that was when she met Sarah Daniels, the girl who appeared as if she had always belonged to the town, with a look in her eyes that said she knew more than she let on. Sarah was unlike anyone Sophie had ever met. Her smile was faint, almost melancholic, but it was her eyes those dark, knowing eyes that chilled Sophie to the core. You're new here, aren't you? Sarah asked her voice soft yet carrying an undercurrent of something darker. People don't usually leave once they arrive. This town, it grows on you. Sophie couldn't shake the feeling that something was in trite about Eastbrook. It wasn't just the town's quiet nature, it was the presence. The way the shadows seemed to linger just a little too long. The way the air felt too thick to breathe at times. One evening, Driven by a restless curiosity, Sophie ventured into the woods beyond Eastbrook. It was the kind of forest that seemed to stretch forever. The trees too tall, the silence too deep. But it was what Sophie heard next that would haunt her forever. At first, it was just a whisper, a hum at the back of her mind. But soon, it grew louder, swirling around her. Sophie's heart raced as she realized the whispering was not in her head it was coming from the trees themselves. Leave leave this place. The whispers were endliness, suffocating her with every word. Sophie turned, ready to flee. But there, standing in the shadows at the edge of the forest, was a figure, tall, dark, and barely visible against the blackened trees. Its presence was like a weight in the air, pulling her in. Sophie tried to shake off the events of that night, but the whispering followed her. It echoed in her mind growing louder with each passing day. And that was when Sarah finally spoke the truth. You've seen it, haven't you? Sarah whispered, the thing in the woods, the thing that tells you to leave. Sarah's words sent a chill through Sophie's spine. She had felt it to its strange presence, the pull that seemed to lead her to the woods. But there was something more. The truth was darker than Sophie could have ever imagined. The town of Eastbrook was built on a curse, a darkness that had been sealed away long ago. The people here were prisoners, bound to the town, trapped in its silence, unaware of the ancient evil lurking just beneath the surface. And the whispers, they weren't just the voices of the trees, they were the voices of those who had been consumed by the darkness, the souls of the town's people who had long since vanished, trapped in the curse. Everything Sophie had feared was true. The thing in the woods was not a shadow, it was Sarah, the girl who had lured her into the town, the girl who had been waiting for someone to ask the wrong questions. For Sophie, there would be no escape. The curse had claimed her, just as it had claimed so many before. As the figure reached for her, Sophie screamed, but her voice was drowned by the whispering darkness. She could feel her body growing colder, her limbs growing weaker, as if something was pulling her down into the earth itself. And when the morning came, Eastbrook was the same, quiet, still, but Sophie Winters was gone, and so were the answers. Some secrets are better left untold, and some towns are better left undisturbed.